Hi, we're ready to start the PTO meeting for Gordon Parks Academy. You may not see all of us, but hopefully you can hear us all. I'm fixing really to you. I'm sorry. Can you just... <laughs> no, I'm going over there. <laughs> okay. So, um... All right, I'm going to speak up for everyone in the back that the camera's not showing and uh, <laughs> the things that uh, whole business, the holiday celebration is all this year. Um, if anybody has anything to say about that, we'll go ahead and touch on it now, but uh, if not, we'll just get right to the business. We want to say thanks to all the volunteers because we did have volunteers come on Sunday and wrap presents and then for a couple of other days and they helped with the uh, Middle school, um, we had a pancake party for um, kids who had done well as a reward for middle school. And then we had Miss Ernadine, who was a chef. She came and helped the middle schoolers like make mugs, mug cake mugs for all of the teachers and a hot cocoa for all of the teachers. So thanks to Miss Ernadine and to Sherry and her sisters. So, just want to say thanks oh, for everyone who helped. Who did a lot of work. Oh, and our Santa, the one and only Santa. The real Santa. Yes, the real Santa was at our school at our sing along and handing out presents. Thank you. As for new business, um, I'll stick right to the bottom and go to fundraising because we need money because uh, our robotics team is uh, they have great things in front of them and we need some more money for that. We do. Uh, do you want me to speak to that? Yes. Please. Okay. So um, our robotics team, as of right now, we were able to um, pay for the registration costs for three of the teams that have qualified for um, nationals. At the moment, um, what we're what we need money for is um, transportation and hotel costs for the national tournament, which is in Council Bluffs, Iowa. Um, we have we've estimated that it's going to cost probably close to two thousand dollars more that we need just to go to that tournament. That's with again the hotels. Um, we're looking at at least three hotel rooms, um, and that's about $750 just for the three hotel rooms. And then we have to um, have at least two rental cars and gas and all of that. So that's where we got close to um, $2,000 just to go to that tournament. Um, we're feeling really confident in our kids' abilities um, because they've done so well at every tournament that they've been to that we're hoping um, that we can at least qualify one team for Worlds. Uh, right now, they, they take a certain amount of teams from each state, and I think it's only been like one <coughs> heard that they're possibly taking three Kansas teams this year. So what it is is how we qualify for Worlds is depending on how we do at Hutchinson, which is the state tournament, not the national tournament, but the state tournament. So um, we should know in, I want to say, February or March, I can't remember when the state, maybe late February, early March, um, we'll know if we qualify for Worlds at that time. Um, as far as fundraisers, we are just we're, like I said, we're really hopeful. So we're starting the process for that 
um, fundraising. And if, it, if we don't have a team that qualifies, that just gives us money in the pot for next year. So when we have more teams qualify for nationals or whatever, we'll have that money. Um, but we're looking at even just for one team, because it's a lot more expensive, um, for one team, we're looking at about $5,000 just to take them to Worlds because um, it is in Nashville and we will have to, the registration cost alone is $1,000 per team. So $1,000 just for one team. And then we have to have hotel and flight. So it's a whole more, you know, it's a lot more expensive because we have to fly um, the kids. So. We're trying. Our goal is seven thousand dollars. It's a lot of money, but we're dreaming big and hoping we can find some big sponsors to help us out. Any questions? Did that explain it well enough? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, not putting it on the spot. Then I'm going to donate here. I already donated online. I donated Thank online you. too. Thank you. So what? What is the bit like with two sets on the Um well we go oh my goodness. Um I'm gonna have to look up the dates. I guess it's April though. So, well, well, when we go to nationals. April? April fourth okay. is the when we nationals is April fourth. And world is May. So right. um so before, before April, April by March. March. Yeah, mm -hmm. our goal is by March have all the funds that we need so yeah and there is um on our well it's not our you know what we should probably share our robotics page with our facebook or just our regular school facebook page mm -hmm. because or at least share the link on our facebook page because there there is a link it's through he did, and it's like um, it's it it's an echo or something like that. But there's a link to go in, and we can do any amount that you want. So, and he gives where it explains, you know, how much money kind of it like anywhere from twenty dollars up to two hundred and fifty, which would help pay for a hotel room. But um, but you can go in and just put your own amount. Yeah, that's a big fundraiser that we need to really consider at this point. A great opportunity for our kids. Right. And probably most of you know, and also speaking to people who are um, checking in on YouTube, but we've only been doing robotics for two years, and we are we are already have <coughs> three of our teams qualified for nationals. And they won the highest awards at the first two tournaments. And they, in the last tournament, they competed against middle schoolers and high schoolers. They won an excellence award and the design award. The design award was for the whole um, tournament, high school and middle school, and they won design award. So that is really, I mean, our robotics team, I consider to be really impressive. They're extremely impressive. Um, and that's why I think we're feeling so confident about Hutchinson when we go for state, because right now we are, we we seem to be very successful in the term of the three tournaments that we've been to um, when we're competing against other middle schools. We've gotten the top award. So um, they're just, they're great. It's fun. It's a lot of fun to watch. <coughs> Um, so are we thinking because i know that you're talking about fundraising is this something that we're considering pto taking a portion of whatever event to donate towards the robotics team right is mm -hmm. that what we're proposing or yes mm -hmm. because yeah you do but even if we didn't i think that that's what pto is really a about the fundraiser so we can provide opportunities for students to yeah so um, I think it would be nice if we could at least do one of the fundraisers or a portion of the funds towards, towards the fundraisers. 
So one of the things, so we just resumed selling popcorn and pickles. We did our first popcorn and pickle sale for 2019. And um, with the idea of splitting whatever we make and giving half of it to robotics. And the robotics team members are coming to help um, sell. And as long as it doesn't interfere with class time, then they might help us distribute or their parents. And today we sold and we made $86. I mean, it's not like a big amount. I mean, but it is considering we only have 400 kids and made $86. What did you say? Go ahead. Yeah, today was people. I thought, I'm sorry. I thought, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but I just wonder if any possibility to tap uh, corporation to yes. share these. Actually, I didn't know this story. When I actually today is the first time I see it here. Yeah. Um. Mr. McCracken, who is the teacher of robotics, he's um, applied for some grants. He's contacted um, he's contacted companies, and he's not getting responses. Mm -hmm. He's sent out quite a few, I think, letters and emails. And it's not been successful. Mm -hmm. so we'll keep trying. We are keep we we are still trying and trying to identify people and you know sharing. I don't know and mm -hmm. sharing. Out a little bit, they got this many. Right. And said, I don't know, well, but we need to brainstorm again. But we could do that. Um, we could skip that part, and uh, we, what we didn't have was a start date, and that's going to be pretty soon because mm -hmm. we so, anybody have a problem starting today's the 17th? 
February 1st. When's, okay, so if you're wanting to target tax season, so it's January 28th is when it opens, right? Like you can start five and so I just think maybe late, like later in February or mid February to think about so people have time to start getting them in and getting them back and things like that in the few weeks. So I know you're probably not really supposed to do it, but um, I think how about let's do a 50 50 raffle at that comes? We can't do it. Donations, we can't do no donations. We can't do anything that has to do with gambling. We cannot do. <laughs> not always a rule follower, but I, I yeah, that one's getting sticky. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, the high schools used to do that a long time ago, and then they got, they can't do them anymore. Mm -hmm. Back in the day. Yeah. Is there something we can do at conferences? Because there'll be a lot of people there coming through. Yeah. Hmm. Well, or. I think that's a great thing, or maybe robotics could do a concession or do food or do something during conferences. Could we do, um, I know we already have the dress down day, but could we do a dress down day for like $2 or something? I, don't know. I, I know that my kids, kids said it at um, Thanksgiving that when I want it for $5, they used to right? So, and that's what we were hearing from the families to hear. PTO is that's why we went down to a dollar because even the three dollars was too much. And we have multiple kids. And Patrice, do you know did did it increase the amount that we collected when we went down to a dollar? Or we collected I think we collected two seventy nine last um, for this last uh, dress down. So I'm not sure. I, we definitely collected more than more our first, right, more kids participated, and I believe we really collected a little bit more than what we made the first time, which we did a $3 one. The $5 one, we got about 500 Right. But that was, you know, that was, had other incentives behind it. So. And I thought even if we, if we did two dollars or we did a, a dollar fifty, you know, I think that's affordable. I mean, kids would buy. I had kids buy pickles for a dollar fifty, pickles and popcorn. So, seems doable. Um, one thing I, I went to a meeting the other you know, yesterday morning, and I think something that I wasn't aware of, um, and I'm going to double check on it, is that each organization mm -hmm. can have two fundraisers per oh, semester right. food that are unhealthy so like k club can do something so and so then not. robotics could do something oh PTO could do something and so that's it's interesting. each and that's what the this is from the high school so i'm going to double check it because they said we have all kinds of organizations that are doing things and so so, so the kids are constantly well you can donate it <laughs> i mean you can do it for but yeah so each for organization them. can do up to two and so what they were um, and this was the high school level and he said they're making huge money it's it's high school, but um, like they're selling even the ramen noodle cups that cost like 17 cents, but this is different. But right. he but said, sure. we're doing a dollar and the kids are buying them for lunch and it's like, you know, yeah. all away from lunch, but um, That's donuts a or whatever in the morning or things like that that are- Cause it's by organization. By, by organization. And so they're doing 
food all the time. So they ordered a bunch of pizza and they were doing pizza oh, slices. Yeah. And um, as I said, it's a high school, but these are just some of the, it just made me start thinking, well, robotics does one, K Club can do one, Stuco can do one, PTO can Cheerleaders. do one, Cheerleaders. Cheerleaders can do yeah. one. Mr. Jackson fast, but yeah, and he was wanting to do, and girls, so we probably could do a little more than what we're doing because I thought it was two for school person per semester, but it's they're saying it's per organization. It's two. It's two for per organization per semester. Well, check. That's what they're saying. I'm going to double okay. check. Okay, if that's the case. Mm -hmm. That could. Well, that's going to be that's right there. That's awesome. Yeah. That, that's on the five, five thing is uh, promotion. Right. I'm wondering. Well, probably some of the best ways without an assembly. Without, those aren't, you don't get the attention when you get that many kids in, but. Um, just having somebody pop into each classroom, just and explaining here's our fundraiser and taking five minutes out of each class, so it will take a while. But then you have the attention of the kids, and then you can explain what the prizes are and um, encourage it that way. That would be my recommendation. And then having something out during conferences so parents can see it and know what's happening. Have it available. I can get it to. I can give like the flyer or whatever it is again, but they can directly to the parent at conferences. So, so we'll do. We can. We'll send on the flyer, and we'll hand it out to parents at conferences, and then we'll do pop-ins to each of the classrooms. And okay, I would do pop-ins first, and and have it. Kids and then just reiterate it with the parents. So I know that we can't raffle things for money. We have to give, if we have a raffle, it has to be where we give everyone a chance to win, right? Is that how it has to be? That done? was the bingo. Um, you could do, you can do the baskets. Yeah. But you can't do like silent auction. Oh, okay. Because I was thinking, um, as a prize, like we could buy like a gaming console because of the nature of the five for five. After they reach, after the first um, hundred people turn in their five for five dollars, then we could get a gaming console. That could be one of the prizes is like a $300 gaming console or a Nintendo Switch. And then the kids will get their names in a drawing and whoever's name is drawn out, they would be the person that won it. Yeah, or see if somebody would be willing to donate. Right. To the donate. company to donate a switch or whatever. Right. I'd be careful um, that getting too much of a gaming conflict like, too expensive of it because um, at my other building we had an issue with the parents were yeah, they were excited that in the games that it were expensive mm -hmm. to play the console. And so I think it's yeah. TV one and the child one of them on the that's good. And then it doesn't cost them anything additional to use it. You know. So, um, so I just want to add the comments from YouTube. So um, Ms. Davier, she says, hi, Mr. McCracken is on also. He says state is March the first. Oh, and then um Ms. Turner says, do any of our parents work for Marriott or Starwood and maybe yes. we could get our rooms at a discount? Oh, oh. Um, we actually do have that, but um, 
that's a great thought and idea, but everything we do has to come through um, the travel department through the district. And oh. so they set up with the business account, um, like the rentals for the cars and uh, the hotel. So, so while that's a fabulous idea, that might be something for the parents that want to go that might help. But as far as when the school district's paying for it, it has to go through the travel. And then Mr. McCracken also said that the U.S. Open is April 4th and Worlds is the last weekend in April. So that kind of tells us when we'll have to have all the money together because really it's pretty much in one chunk. We, yeah, we'll, we'll, know, we'll know March 1st right. about Worlds. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So those are the comments that we have so far. Okay. Um, How much do you raise Well, the other school raised fourteen thousand dollars. Yeah, four hundred students. They have four hundred students. And right, because the goal is for everyone to do get twenty five dollars worth of donations. But um, like the grand prize, like we were talking about, so we might have a prize for the kids who the first hundred the turn in, they get a guaranteed prize. But there was like a grand prize, like for the kids who actually collected even more money. And some kids collected like a hundred dollars. Yeah, because we're talking about like CCs and or whatever. Right. Like lunch and limo for the top. Huh? Um, there's anything PTO, but I would like to share um, that one of our our teachers was um, Miss Ben, our art teacher, was looking to. She was seeking donations for college t-shirts. So students who don't have college t-shirts can participate in Think College Friday. And so she put something out kind of on her own personal Facebook page asking for donations from friends and family. And she was going to create like a college closet. And so kids could come check it out. She would wash them and have them available, you know, for the next time. Well, somebody had um, told her story, like what she was trying to do to the Intercom radio station. There's like six or seven that are part of Intercom. And Intercom is taking it on and is going to do a college shirt drive for our school. And Taz Locker Room is going to be our um, the, the sites where they can drop off the shirts. And so um, one out west and one out east. And so we're going to have a group of kids go and speak on the radio and then they'll play it up to 10 times in a certain like twice a day or maybe or something for so many days and um so it was it had something to do with did you not get what you wanted for christmas and um, but i see from her her boyfriend that gave my son girlfriend doing the project she was really like from her for all the kids and she also knows some one of her good friends um, behind Goodwill. Oh, yeah. And so she gave her some shirts, and they gave her fifty dollars and a discount card. So she and she told her, "If you need more money, just tell me." So it's kind of just like, well, we're pretty pretty proud of it. Yeah, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. It is really amazing. So it's cool. That is really good. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's pretty awesome. She is. She is awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. can you mention the next upcoming uh, events that also be those courses? Oh, okay. Um, we have two upcoming events that are coming up pretty quickly, and that is January 25th. We have movie night. Um, usually, the kids vote on movie night, then we buy the movie. 
we send them a flyer, do a parent link, and give them a sticker. Give them a sticker on the Friday of the event. But we really, there's not really that much set up. Set up the gym is really just pull the screen down and um, get the projector going. But we're talking about concessions. That's the other part, concessions and cleanup. So we will need help with concessions and cleanup. And uh, we welcome volunteers who are on the live stream as well as the ones who are in the room. And those you can recruit. I'll probably recruit, you know. I also heard the movie Happy Time Murders has a public element that's been running now. We've talked about that. Oh, yeah. I didn't decide what movie we want to watch. Well, we can watch Happy Time Murders. Do you have do we have some suggestions? <laughs> Whatever you just said. <laughs> Every movie with puppets is not for children. We may know what's out there right now. Moms, a does it, have one. To be rated G it does not have to be rated G. It just um, if parents are with them, like those kind of nights. If a parent brings them, but I wouldn't do anything over PG. So, um, I can look. And this is for next week, right? Or no? Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. So, it has to be something that's out right now. Mm -hmm. uh, work on this if there's something you know. okay. um, about. And then our next event after that is our family formal and it's going to be on February the 8th and it is the Mardi Gras Masquerade Ball. And we really like our parents. Well, it's an all family formal so what we want is for the staff to bring their family to the dance and the parents to and guardians to bring their kids to the dance and we dress up and this time it's going to be a masquerade ball we'll be selling masks um, and concessions and things like that and also there'll be a photo booth like we did last year and the direct decorations miss keely and Nurse Minda and Miss Diane, who usually decorates, they are on it for decorations, and it really looks like it's going to be a really fabulous night. Miss um, Kennedy is looking into a DJ, but if you have DJ suggestions, please send them to us because we do not have a DJ nailed down yet. Um, uh, Incredibles too. Yep, that's right. Incredibles 2 is fun. No? I don't have seen it. Early. Early. Not really, man. That was old. Well. Incredibles 2 is kind of what I'm. That's it. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty recent. It's exciting. I'm all I'm seeing. Okay. Can't really cry for the best costume for the party drop off. Oh, that's such a good Oh, um, what about small foot? Is that out on DVD? But that, that is like what small is. Um, so, Dobby, she said, What about small? Foot? Small foot, yep. Oh, there you go. Well, preference between The Incredibles 2 and Small Foot. Small Foot? I thought it just came out in theaters. Which one has a good underlying message? <laughs> I mean, The Incredibles is a family, and it is family movie night, but. Small foot is about appreciating differences. Oh yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, it came out December 11th. Ooh. So small foot. Okay. We're getting, yeah, getting Sergeant Stubby, an American hero. 
I've never heard of Star Trek. I like the dog. Small foot. They can vote tomorrow. <laughs> That'll be it. Let's wonder. Yeah. I'd stick with more animated because the ones that tend to come are the younger kids. That... So, do we want to do give them a choice between Smallfoot and Incredibles? You know what we could do instead of going into every single classroom, the kids walk through the front door every single day like we could put a chart paper out there and hand them a pen when they walk in and they can yeah put us or a sticker and they can put a sticker <laughs> yeah a little dot and then just there you go oh, there's a dot when you walk in yeah. oh. we can do bink well, we can do those bingo dollars that miss van has oh it yeah, yeah or whatever yeah. Yeah. stickers easy you can hand them to them and they there's it. their vote, and then we can just see what the majority looks like based on that as soon as they walk in the door and it's nice yeah. and quick and yeah, that's easy because they, they're fairly spread out when they come in in the morning. I mean, there's like a, a group of right here when it opens, like 20. Yes, yeah, enough of that. It's pretty good. Okay. That seems sweet. We can do that. We can do that tomorrow. We'll be... Get a chart paper together. Yeah. I think we have stickers in the office, the little dots. In the middle. <laughs> <laughs> you might print, I would think, print off like the picture of Incredibles and the picture of Smallfoot so they can see it for those that don't really read. And Soulskate. So there is a church that is on 11th in Minnesota, and they built a big, um, like all purpose building. And on New Year's, they had their first skate, and they had Soulskate. And I thought, I was like, for real? <laughs> because I didn't really know where it was, but it showed on Facebook, and all these people were going to go to Soulskate. And so then Miss Kennedy and I talked about it and it is it's a real thing. And so there is a skating rink. It's not like a they don't have I mean it's not like a right, it's not like carousel, but they have a skating rink and it's in the big building and it's right here in the neighborhood. It's on like eleventh in Minnesota. And they had soul skating. I guess it was pretty popular. So Soul part, like, do they play soul music? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah, they play soul music. And so we thought that we could do our fundraiser. It would be like a perfect combination. It's in the community, so it's close by. And, um, right. It's just like, far. It is. And they like to skate. So um, we just want to look into booking that. And Miss Kennedy has already contacted. Um, Reverend Van about it. So we just don't know when we're going to schedule it. Maybe late February or early March. Miss um, Penny just sent an email. Mm -hmm. um, she's watching online uh -huh. and just said um has anyone tried donors choose i know other teachers in the in wichita have posted on there and have been successful so that was her recommendation is donors choose well and there's a, a couple librarians that they told that our last librarian they no matter what they always have a project on there because regularly someone will come through and fund every single every single project that's on there so oh. they said they keep something on there at all times so like <laughs> 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 so 
there's an option. That's great. So that's the end of that part of the agenda. Um, I do want to say a little bit of something about um, the faces room because I feel like we need to get the word out about faces. I have started putting things on YouTube about it. And so I'm just going to say on this video that the faces room is the family and community empowering students center. And it's this room and we have um, books to land. We have a washer and dryer. We're willing to, Miss Ben and I had talked about, we are willing to have uh, families come and sign up and we'll come in on a Saturday so they can wash. I know there's other free wash places to go, but since this is really so close to so many of our families and we have, uh, fam we have a family and a volunteer that does extreme couponing and they have provided a lot of like hygiene products that are here to be given away for families who need it. There's also clothing that's been donated and coats that have been donated for our families if they need it, just to support them, support our families in those ways, as well as um, in any way that it's gonna support our families so that our kids can get a good education and have their needs met. So we just really want our families to come in and use the Faces Room. And we are having uh, Wednesday, workshops and i am scheduling uh, for this year we're going to have uh, two cooking classes we'll have extreme couponing we're going to do the new math uh, workshop and we are going to do the the middle schoolers they have a club that is starting that's uh, really sponsored through the y so they're going to have different clubs on different um nights monday through thursday and one of the clubs that they would like to do is like a dance club or a fitness club and um uh, my friend marie is a zumba instructor and she's come and done zumba classes for us for our teacher appreciation week and for um, our life program at one time and so she said that she will do a class for the kids and then our parents and kids and the staff could do a class afterward. So they could do the club one day on that same day and then afterward we can have parents come and we could do like Zumba or do some type of fitness just to bring, you know, another aspect of our community together to, to bring, you know, enhance our community. So if you have suggestions about what you would like to see in the faces room or how we could utilize this space, then please um, send us message me or you can comment on the YouTube video and then we'll try to implement it. So. And unfortunately, YouTube live people the coffee and the cookies you cannot <laughs> see. We can't see you. But there are there's coffee and cookies back there. <laughs> so is there any what about anybody else? Do you have things? Oh, I do want to mention one more time. Uh, I did a job last year late and uh, we got donated to Gordon Parks uh, one hour of a little show pony at the I don't know what we're gonna do with but that's still there. So Oh yes, right. Figure out some money to help us maybe make some money or maybe show up one day, but we're in our school year. So, also, if you didn't know about robotics, then you probably didn't know that our Q Club um, wrote two grants to the Woodshaw Community Foundation and they both were funded. Um, one is to get buddy benches on the playground um, just for kids to sit, or maybe there's a lot of kids who come in and just like to read their book at like that lunch time. And then the other one was for. Um, desk cycles, which is like some just pedals to go under the desk of kids who are really fidgety to try to help them um, maybe concentrate a little bit better. So we'll be getting those older pretty quickly. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Good stuff. Yeah. 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 Oh, great things at the awesome. Gordon Burks. Mm -hmm. okay. right. mm -hmm. Well, it looks like I get that money. We'll see you next week. <laughs> okay. I know, it just makes you want to just think, okay. Yeah, we've got people out there.
want to support us, I'm sure. Oh, and Corey, signed, he shared the link. Okay. For the donation. Mm -hmm. So thanks for tuning in. Okay.